All right, here is a short walk around of a 2021 BMW X4 M that I have right behind me. Uh, before I get into the walk around, I am a client advisor at Parkview BMW in Toronto, Canada. So if you know anybody who's in the market for a BMW or even this X4M, because it is for sale, hit me up, my email down below. I'm going to hop behind the camera and give you guys a quick walk around of this X4M and show you the specs of it. Now, this is just going to be a short walk around of the X4M. If you're interested in finding out everything there is to know about the 2021 X4M with full pricing, package breakdown, uh, technical specs, and everything like that, just go ahead and click the link at the top of the screen. It'll be there somewhere around there, and I'll tell you everything else. But let's get behind the camera and I'll show you guys a quick walk around of this spec in my showroom. Okay, so this is the key that you get with your X4M. It has the M stripes on the side there. When you click unlock, those beautiful adaptive LED headlights pop up. Since it is not the competition package, you're going to get the chrome around the window. And then this does have premium plus advanced driver's assistance package. So you're going to get a camera in between the grills for your 360 camera and a puff there for your advanced driver's assistance. And you can also see radiators on either side of the bumper. Now exterior color wise, this is the dark graphite metallic paint option, which looks stunning with the sun reflecting off of it with the Adelaide gray interior option once we get onto the inside. As you can see, you have the chrome air breather here because it's not the competition package. Now these wheels are the standard wheels that you would get for the vehicle with the standard blue brake caliper, 20 inch wheels in the front, Pirelli P0 tires wrapped around and 20 inch tires in the rear. They are staggered so the rears are wider than they are for the front tires. And coming around to the back, you get the cool X4M spoiler. It's one thing I like about this one. And then there's also like a little bit of like a roof spoiler right here as well with your shark fin antenna looks super aggressive. Don't forget your typical BMW quad tip exhaust pipes, chrome exhaust, X4M badge. And what I love about the X4M is the fact that the BMW logo is the trunk button. So just press there and the whole thing opens up. How cool is that? Then you have your privacy cover. So for the X4M, you have one here that detaches, and then you would have another one that sits up here. It's been taken down at this moment, but let's see if I can put it back into place. Hey, put back in, clips in, so that when it comes down, it like sits nicely, covers everything. Storage compartment underneath here as well. And when you're ready to close the trunk, you can just, with your foot, a little wipe, and it will comfort access close for you, which is a pretty nice feature. And mirror caps here, super aggressive. Look at that. Blind spot monitoring on the mirror. And with the paint bouncing off it, you can really see the sparkle. Look at that sparkle. Literally every different color of the rainbow. You're also going to get 360 cameras on the side of your mirrors, chrome air breather, and your comfort door access will let you lock your vehicle or unlock your vehicle just by putting your hand inside the door. High gloss black window surround. And this is the Adelaide gray full merino leather with the upgraded M Sport seats. So you get the M Sport logo built into the headrest, lights up as soon as you open the door, perforated, ventilated seats for the merino leather, all fully electronic adjustable down there with this can also come out as well. Your M Performance steering wheel, tri-color stitching, M1, M2 for quick saves, head-up display, full digital gauge cluster, X4M, carbon fiber trim as well, Harman Kardon sound system. I love the little X they put in here. Your aluminum pedals, also an M logo built into those. Aluminum door sill for X4M. Let me open up the back doors. You also get an X4 imprinted in the steel, which is pretty cool. While we're here, why don't we look at the back seats before we hop back into the front. You see the gray on the door panel, carbon fiber trim, ambient lighting back here, perforated back here as well, merino leather. And then in the back seats, you also get climate control and USB-C ports for the back passengers. And a little X in there too. Coming back to the front, M logo here, as well as your heated steering wheel, your airbag, carbon fiber trim on the inside, M logo down there, cover for the wireless charging tray and the cup holders, 
you have your transmission controller. So once you're in drive, you can go up and down in the gears, neutral or reverse. And then to park, you just press the P button right there. And then your drive logic, up and down gear engagement, your setup menu for all of your suspension, the revs, the steering, your exhaust valve, and your automatic brake hold function. And then when you open up the center console, you got another USB-C port in there. Why don't we open up the hood while we're here? Boom, the S58 engine. There is an option where you can upgrade this and get this carbon fiber, which is pretty cool. I like the S55 a little bit better, but you know, this is obviously the better engine. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick walk around of this Dark Graphite X4M with the Adelaide gray interior. I love how it has that orange kind of built into the gray, which is super cool. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more BMW content. Like this video as it does help me grow. And if you want to win some free BMW merchandise, just check out my other videos as I'm always giving away free stuff like every other week. All you got to do is drop a comment on those videos and you'll be entered to win. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget if you're in Toronto and you know anybody who's in the market for any BMW or this X4M because it is for sale, feel free to hit me up at my email down below. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.